Yeah, um, hello there, we're back again from VBE, BTU Business Butter, Butter, your best solution to start your own VTU business. Um, so, right now, we I said we'll be integrating the VT Pass um, Data API. Well, it's as simple as we did with the airtime. So please watch the series. We've made a uh, complete series for each of the APIs, whichever one you've chosen. So just um, watch them. So if you feel you have APIs that you want to use and we have not yet made video for, please do let us know. We are going to get it out and make the video for you. You understand? So right now we have with uh, the VT Pass sandbox again. So I'm just going to skip through some things, but the most important thing is showing you the API page for the um, for the data. So now this is VT Pass page. So we have the data subscription that says MPN data API. So I'm just going to click it. So we will just be demonstrating just the, for the MPN, but know that these settings apply to the other API too. So uh, I spoke about this when I was integrating the uh, airtime API. So just go to the video and check how to generate the, the authentication. I'm just going to speed up at right now so that this video can be faster. So uh, right now you can realize that we have um, the duration codes um, URL. So I'm just going to copy that and uh, open it on my second tab so that we can all see so now look at this well it's not in the format i had hoped for it's not in the format i had hoped for okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to let me see if i can allow some plugins here now uh, yeah, because i have some extensions as so i don't know if i can allow them in incognito mode uh, so I reduce our extensions. Don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna just um, go through it for you. So you can see that the response says we have um, the zero zero. Well, that's not our concern. The, the major thing is the major thing. The major concern is the um, service that's MTN data. Says service ID is MTN data. So this is service ID we are looking for. You understand? This is what we actually need. Then we also need uh this variation code here also you know variation code so let's go back to so you know variation code for everything it's just like um the amount of gig that will be sold when a user clicks on that so something like that so that's it you can see that this is the service id which is mtn data service id so how do we purchase the product they also wrote here the mtn data which is the service id then uh, we have the sandbox, which we already have in our configuration here. This is the API URL. Then what we need to do is to get what's passing to this API data because that's where the magic happens. So before we talk about that, we always talk about the network code JSON. It's very important. And we're going to talk about the network data amount JSON. It's also very important. So I'm not going to talk about this first because this is what is seen on this page here. This is what we are looking at here. Here you can see that is what we are seeing. So this especially is what is controlling this. Then this one we are seeing here. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Is controlling um data from here. So. When you look at it thoroughly, you will realize that you have MTN 10 MB um, at 100 Naira. So when you look at here too, you should see something like that. You can see that. Let's look at the second one so that we can confirm. So you have 10 gig that says um, SME at uh, 3600 Naira. So let's just check. You can see that we have the same thing here so because that is what is controlling that hand. So it's very simple to use, so we are just going to check. So now, the first thing to do is to note what the service ID is, which is what 
we have already done so have we've we've gone through it we realized that they used mtn data low data it's a lot data 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 things like that to identify their um, service id there so that that is why we've inputted them appropriately so after that we can now move so we are now moving to uh the network data among json this is very tricky but like i said with um, the club connect we have something very very serious here that we that must be there now look at something here it says slash it's very important this, this, this slash is there because it differentiates those networks you can see that it's always at the big sorry at the end and at the beginning of the end or the beginning of another network you understand so this is considered this from here to this place is considered as a network though it's a sample so that as a it will serve as a reminder then this also to this point you get then we start from glow also to this point then we start from their mobile also to where we have the airtel which which is the last part so uh like i said it will just be doing the mtn alone so you can also go through it and um, go through this video look at this part very well and do the other networks that way and if you are not having issues you can contact us so we might charge you to set, set the api for you we might charge you because that's we don't want to charge you that's why we are doing out uh, we are making these videos so at first we will refer you to this this video and if you can see if you can still get it to work we might charge you we might charge you and I, I'm not saying we will charge you, but we might just charge you to do that. So just take your time to watch this video very well, please. Um, so now you can see the configuration sample here. The same thing is here also. We just needed we, we just need, need to show you what 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 we have here. So uh, the major thing is that is for the because different APIs have different way the data uh, is being sent. That is why we um that is why we can't say that okay since we have the api amount as the first um, variable here that means that for club connect we will be having that same thing no it is wrong you understand so you can see that here now we have to place the variable code which is supposed to be api amount because of course it, it is telling us that okay this is the api amount this is the amount we are trying to buy so then we have the amount that the system itself will deduct so if this person should go through with this the system will be deducting 250 220 then we have the service id here which is what the system use then we have here we have a uh, miscellaneous when you look at that position the position is one two three and four so one two three and four that's you are a variable you understand it's just like well anything that can that can be there can be there so we can use that in this place here oh we don't have the URL variable here at all so but we can use that in place of the service id because we already have the same values here for the service id that's network code i think so we're having the same value there for network code and the url variable so you can you can also not put anything here by putting none does not matter so this is what the user will see which is the last part after the pipe after the last pipe so before we now go to the next list so the next list also has the uh has the same thing which is uh sorry it does not have the same thing but i'm going to just make it to have the same thing now which is uh this uh, copy this and replace it with here then we have uh, then we have our mtn data again here you understand we have our mtn data here so that's that that's that so uh, this things everything here should be replicated here what this stands for well in the, in the future we may be removing this part because we just um we then we thought we will be making 
use of this to for other people to put other um, persons to connect to your own API also. That's on the um, you know the VB, the VBP as um, where you can also be a distributor. You understand a distributor they say that you provide API for people to connect to. So yeah, it can also be that. It can also be that. So with everything we have here now. So now everything here. So let's just now go back to the top. And we'll now work with what we have there. So we have here we have API amount. You can see that we are having here as API amount, you understand? So uh, this format will be placed on our author for you to be able to work with. So we have added some things. We, we, we will be adding this to the uh, platform, to the, the web, web page, so that they can know how to remove and add some of these things. Because it's important to also know so that you'll be able to work on other APIs yourself. So I think that's that for that. Um, so we, so uh, the success code will still remain transaction uh, successful since we are still using BT pass, BT, BT Rather. So I'm just going to click on save here because that's all for that. So clicking on here to check if it goes or not. So we'll be using MTN alone because the MTN is the only one we configured. So um, 10 gig, I'm getting 10 gig for that number, that same number, 111, 111 also. So that should give us success. You understand? Because it went. It actually went. So if if you try another number you're going to get an error because uh that's that's expected and you know we are using a sandbox so we're using a sandbox you can you see that so it means that what we do what, what, what we have done is actually correct you understand so that's it's as simple as that so thank for staying with us um you can use your own copy or rather you can use our cloud solution to Run to test run before you purchase the licensed copy. Um, we will be available for any questions. You can drop your questions or comments. Let us know. Let us know what uh, your suggestion or comment also it will be to also help us to improve on this um, beautiful software. Thank you very much again. This is the business portal solutions. Bye for now.